This time, I don't leap into action immediately. Instead, I sit on a couch and collect my thoughts. Every time I try to save my Yuri, it ends in the worst possible way. To make matters worse, I no longer even know what I'm supposed to be saving her from. Cause and effect. Why does my Yuri die? At first, I thought that was Milk under Hit Squad sent by Stern to steal our time machine. But as I left back in time again and again, the cause of my Yuri's death kept changing. At Shino Chinomizu Station, she died because Nae pushed her off the platform. Stern had nothing to do with that. It was an accident. Each time I leap, she dies a different way. What does that mean? I've been thinking for an hour and I'm no closer to an answer. I want someone to tell me, but who can I ask? I'm the only person in history to leap through time. No, there's one more. John Titor. He's not replying to my emails anymore, and he hasn't posted on that channel in days. I'm not even convinced he's a real time traveler. I decide not to run this time. Instead, I take a different approach. Strike first. I send Moika an email. I need to talk to you about our time machine. Meet me alone. I designate the roof of Radicon as our meeting place. Two weeks have passed since the satellite crashed, but it's still there and the building's still closed. At least the security has lessened, so it's easy for me to sneak in. Not that there's any sneaking to do. I just walk in through the front door like I belong there. No one questions me. Last time I came here was for Dr. Nakabachi's presentation. Of course, on this world line, the presentation was cancelled. Naturally, there's nobody here but me. It occurs to me this might be a dangerous gambit. Moika might have a gun, and I already know that she's willing to use it. But then I don't intend to play fair either. We're supposed to meet at 5.30. It's just after 5. I came early in order to ambush her. I hide in the shadows and wait with bated breath. About 30 minutes later, I hear the door open. Moika makes her entrance alone. She looks around restlessly. She still hasn't noticed me. I take a gun out of my shirt. Where'd you get that? It's not real. Okay. It's future gadget number one. The bit particle gun. It's just a toy ray gun with a remote control attached. Obviously a bluff, but all I could prepare on such short notice. I could've just used a knife, yeah. Yeah, I could've used a knife, that would've been more effective. I run up behind Moika and shove the bit particle gun into her back. <laughs> Just like a Hollywood movie. But this isn't a movie. This is real. And she isn't an actress. She's a murderer. After Moika raises her hands, I feel through her clothes. Sure enough, she's carrying a gun. I take it from her press to Moika's back and place it with a bit particle gun. <laughs><笑> My frustration and rage boil over. 
Because of her. Because of her, Mayuri. Think I'm lying? I've lost count of how many times exactly. And I haven't slept at all that entire time. Strangely, I'm not tired at all. Well, yeah, this body shouldn't be. Moga gasps. So it was their doing. Moloka nods faintly. I could kill her now. It would be easy. But no. I need information. Moloka answers with surprising obedience. I guess she values her own life, even though she has no problem depriving other people of theirs. ラウンダ。一体どういう組織なんだ。セルンとの関係性は。メルド。ダメだ。報道で説明しろ。ラウンダは。セルンとは別組織。公には。出てこない。そういう扱い。秘密の then, but the. Sekai Juni Chilabate Soleo Atsmid. I began fifty one hundreds. That's right. When I met her, she was looking for an IBN fifty one hundred. These days are nearly impossible to find. People will pay millions just to own one. Is that because CERN's been hunting them down? <laughs> so she's not important enough to be told. IBN 5100を盗んだのもやはりお前だな。もう分けるぞ、アンサー。なぜ IBN 5100の情報を一体何が隠されている。タイムトラベルの人体実験や、その実験で何百人と殺しているという情報は普通のPCでもハッキングで見ることができた。IBN 5100で構築されたデータベースには 
それ以上の極秘情報があるというのか知らない末端だからか My tone is sarcastic, but Moika nods. Damn! She's useless. Why did you kill me? No. You're going to kill me for you. I understand. I did my hacking. The reason is three. Okay. 一つは知ったから君たちが知ってはいけないこと、so、それとタイムマシン君たちが作った They want our time machine. So they must be trying to monopolize time travel technology. How does she know that? We made the decision right after the time leap machine was completed. That was only a few hours ago. I was gonna say a few curse words at the screen, but just pixels on the screen, so I'm not, 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 not gonna bother. But I was very, very tempted to start cursing. Very, very tempted. Unnecessary. I nearly pulled the trigger. Time machine was built by you, Maki, and Ashida. あの子は殺しても構わない<笑>そう言われた俺たちを拘束してどうするつもりだったセルンの施設に監禁してタイムマシン実用化の研究を。そうやってこれまででもセルン以外のタイムマシン研究を潰してきたんじゃないか私は回収しろと言われただけお前のことを一瞬でも仲間にした俺が間違いだったセルンのため I wonder if that's literal. I wonder if she was created by CERN. Who is FB? FB? Is it the name of her supervisor? John Titor? What? Me? I dig the gun into Mocha's back. 
死にたくなかったら今すぐにお前の仲間とそれと FB とやらに連絡しろラボ襲撃は中止だとモーカーシェイクスヘッドそんな権限ない知ったことか権限がなかろうが何とかするんだでないと殺せ I can't do it. I'm not a killer. My hands are trembling. Just like Moka's were before she shot Mayuri. She was hesitating. She didn't want to pull the trigger. But she did. お前もあんなことしたくなかったんだろうなのになんで私は従うだけ FB にだったらその FB とかいうやつをここに連れてこいモーカーシェイクスヘッドアゲンだからそっちの事情なんて知ったことじゃないと無理なの FB に会ったことは Something hard stabs into my back A chill runs through my body There's someone behind me 銃を捨てろ A man's voice. Is he with Moika? I'm ready to pull the trigger in cold blood. Moika doesn't answer. Even though I'm still pointing the gun at her, Moika steps away and turns to face me. Her eyes are cold. Her expression unreadable. Moika takes the gun from my hand. I'm unable to resist. Something strikes the back of my head. My legs give out instantly, sending me to the ground. Darkness creeps in. Target B を確保。開始を頼む。Deep down, I knew. I can't save my Yuri. Even if Mocha's group doesn't kill her, someone or something will. The world itself wants her dead. That is the choice of Steins Gate. Steins Gate? There's no such thing. Those words have no meaning. Just some nonsense I made up to sound cool. Steins Gate doesn't exist, but fate does. Fate, God, 
the will of the universe, an absolute force that no one can resist? It exists, and it has sentenced Mayuri to death. I wake up in the back of a station wagon. The windows are coated with a black film, so I can't tell where we are. I feel a throbbing pain in the back of my head. My hands are tied behind me. What time is it? How long have I been unconscious? There's a man with me inside the car. I recognize him from, from a previous time leap. He's the one who stabbed Mayuri in the taxi. The man seems to notice I've woken up, but doesn't speak. He just waves his gun menacingly as to say there's no hope of escape. The dashboard clock reads 7.30. I look out the window again. Through the film, I managed to make out a street sign. We're close to the lab. Has the attack already happened? Before I left, I told everyone, including Mayuri, to run. If she did as I said, she wouldn't die by their hands. But that doesn't mean she's safe. If I don't do something, Moke is going to take the time ma time leap machine away. What will happen then? CERN can have the machine if it will save Mayuri. The problem is that it won't. Not when the world itself is determined to kill her. As long as the time leap machine re uh, remains in my hands, I can keep trying to fix things. I'll leap again and again until I find a way to save her. But if I lose the machine, then the future is decided. A future without Mayuri. <clears throat> I have to get to it before they do. Even if that means I might get shot. As long as I survive to reach a time leap machine, everything will be alright. My bound hands limit me to headbutts and kicks, but I somehow managed to knock down the man guarding me and escape. My chest and neck are covered with blood. I must have been shot during the struggle, but thanks to the adrenaline pumping through my body, I barely feel any pain. And still move. That's all that matters. I run up the stairs with my hands still tied. I can only pray that I'll be able to operate the time uh, machine quickly enough. Mayuri, Karisu, and Daru in the lab. Sir Omoika and her men. When I open the door and burst in, everyone looks at me in surprise. Oh, Daddy! When she sees my tattered body, Mayuri runs up to me with tears in her eyes. Wait! I try to stop her. In the corner of my eye, I see Mohika take aim at Mayuri. I try to put myself between them. I try to cover Mayuri with my body. But a man grabs me from behind and pulls me back. I watch, helpless as Mayuri's tiny body drops to the floor. Her eyes widen wet with tears seem to stare into mine. But I can see that they already have lost their have lost their light. She's gone. Again. 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 What happens next is the same as before. Suzuha defeats the rounders and Krisu helps me time leap.
And freaking Carisu only sets it for three hours prior. God damn it, Carisu. A flood of sound beats on my eardrums. When it subsides, I find myself again in the lab. It's just before five. I have two and a half hours before my Yuri dies. I find myself staring at the time leap machine. This thing is the reason for Moika's attack. If only we had never built the phone wave. If only we'd never sent those D-mails. Perhaps the future might be different instead of the nightmare it promises now. Would anything change if I broke it? Just smash it to pieces right here? In a rush of delirium, I grab a chair and lift it higher over my head. Just as I'm about to bring it crashing down on this infernal machine, a voice cries out. Okabe, what are you Krisu grabs my arm and pulls me back. I lower the chair slowly. Not because Kurisu told me to, but because I realized what would re happen if I really did break the machine. It caused, or will cause, my Yuri's death. But at the same time, it is also my only chance of averting that future. If I lose it, I lose my only hope of saving her. The fear of that outcome stayed in my hand. <laughs> Okabe, explain everything. Spare no detail. Please. <laughs> Come on, buddy. I can't deal with this. Not now. Uh, I flee from the lab. I don't have a particular destination in mind. People look at me strangely as I shuffle down the street. I imagine I must look like I crawled up from the grave. Alright. Uh, now that we've found some downtime here, I'm gonna stop for today. Um, because I, I have no idea how much more of the game there is. So I think either tomorrow or the next day, I'm not sure yet. Depends on what I have going on tomorrow. One of those days, I'm gonna just sit down and finish the entire thing, but for now, uh, that'll be it. And, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for hanging out, Tippo. And, uh, catch you later. Peace.